Hello everybody, my name is Random Backpack, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the MC Sniper Pi Recode for Windows. So, first thing you will want to do is you want to visit the first link in the description, which will lead you to this page, docs.mcsniperpi.com slash setup slash install. Uh, you can type that in, and there uh, will be a link in the description. And then you want to head over to python.org slash downloads. This will be the second link in the description, and you just want to click this big fat yellow button right there. And it should download pretty quickly here. And it's only a small file, it's only like 20 megabytes, and Python has pretty good servers, so it should download fairly quickly. And here we go. I think it's just done here. Wait for it to finish up. Here we go. You just want to click open file if you're an edge like me. And if you're on any Chromium-based browser, you should be able to click down there. And here we go. It says install Python 3.9.6 for 64-bit. Uh, and I'm assuming you guys will be on 64-bit systems. Um, if you're not, it might say 32-bit. Um, but I'm pretty sure everybody uses 64-bit nowadays. Uh, and before you press that install now button, you want to make sure you press add Python 3.9 to path. This is a must. Um, you have to do that, otherwise MC Snapper Pi will not work. So that, that's a must. And then you can just simply click install now. Now we just wait for this green bar to finish and install Python here. Just installing all the modules and everything it needs to run. Here we go. It says setup was successful. We can now just hit close here. Now the next thing you'll want to do is you want to go over to MC Sniper Pi. Um, this link will be in the description as well. And it should bring you up to MC Sniper Pi 3.4. You just want to press that copy button right there. Now you can open your command terminal by just pressing CMD in the search. And you want to just paste that in there right there. Now you can hit enter and it should install everything you need to run MC Sniper Pi. And there we go. Done. I can just close out of that. Now you just want to open up File Explorer here. And you can go to any file on your computer. I'm just going to go into documents and then I'm going to open, I'm going to create, sorry, a new folder and I'm going to call it MC Sniper I. This is where all your accounts and your config file will be stored. And when you've got this folder created, you can just simply press up here, just click it. I'm just clicking it right there. Just a single click and you just want to type CMD just like that and hit enter. And when that's come up, it should just say c slash users slash your username uh, slash documents or wherever you placed it and then mc sniper pi is the name of my folder now all you have to do is just type mc sniper pi in here dash dash help and here's all the commands for mc sniper pi and what i what i like that they've done with the recode here is they've actually integrated it all into the terminal there's no dot pi file nothing it's all super simple to use so the first thing you want to do when you want to snipe a name, you just want to type MC Sniper Pi in it, just like that, and press enter. And it will say input, yes or no. Are you sure you want to initialize your config in your current working directory, is what that stands for. You just want to type yes, and it should say successfully initialize your sniper, and there should be two accounts that pop up in here. There will be a config file, which you can double click and open, and it should open in notepad, and this is just a bunch, a bunch of uh, options that you guys can use. You can even automatically set its skin uh, if you wanted to. Auto claim name MC, you can also do that as well. But I'm just gonna X out of that. What you really wanna worry about is accounts here. So yeah, it basically gives you a short description. Uh, you wanna clear this file and route accounts in this uh, format. Email, pass, answer, answer, answer. So those answers are actually the answers to your security questions. And you don't have to worry or anything, it is not a token grabber or whatever you call a password grabber. Uh, it is completely safe and it's open source, so if any malicious code was found, uh, it would be found by now. So, you can just clear this and say, my, my, my Minecraft account, this isn't a real account by the way, was example at gmail.com. That's my email, right? What I would do next was I'd press colon, right? And here you type your password. So say my password was just password. Simple as that. If your account has no security questions, you're, you're, you're golden. That's, that's, that's how you put your account in. 
But if it does, you can just copy that, control C, and you can just clear everything uh, and just retype your email. So this is if you have security questions. So I'm just gonna retype that. If you have security questions, here's how you do it. So say my first security answer, the one that comes first up on the page when you need to log into your account and answer those security questions comes first. So say it was, what's your favorite movie? Let's say I my security answer was Jaws, right? I would put that in right there. And then I'd put in another colon for my second security answer. Say it's, what's my mother's middle name? Uh, Steve, that's my mother's middle name, all right? Uh, that's my second security answer. And the last one, the one at the bottom of the page when you sign in is your final, uh, final kind of part of the, um, of this line of text. So let's say it was, I don't know, let's say the answer was me, right? That's how you use the security questions in your account. Also make sure to do control S for save. And you always want to do that. And that's your first account, right? Say you wanted to do more than one account, I would just return and do the exact same thing again, just with a different email and password. So let's just do test1 at gmail.com and the password is password1. Um, this is just cool. Um, that one is yes and that one is no. That's not very secure security questions, um, but you can kind of understand. Uh, how this would work and again if it was a uh, uh, Account without security questions you could just do uh, You could just write it like that and that would be your third account here Basically the more accounts the better on the MZ sniper pie because you can get more requests and let me quickly explain what requests are so a request is when your computer sends a message to Minecraft's uh, web server so say you're 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 gonna say it's like you're talking to your friend, right? Um, but your friend only allows you to say three, uh, say your sentence three times. That's how Minecraft works. So let's see if I paint on this thing. Yeah, I do. So say you this is your computer over here. Increase the size here. This is your computer, right? And you want to send a message to Mojang servers, which is this thing over here. To stop Mojang's servers getting flooded with sentences so they can't hear anything, and they only allow you to send three requests or sentences. So just so they just so they can hear you. So Hello is my first one, okay? And that goes through, right? And my second message is, how are you? That's my second message, right? That will go through again. My third message will also go through. Let's say it's, what's up? Right? That's my third message. That will also go through. The moment I try and send another message after this, let's say, bye, Mojang servers are gonna say no. They won't, they won't accept it. They won't even let you, like, they won't hear you, right? Because uh, you've been, quote unquote, rate limited is what it's called. It's called being rate limited. Um, because a rate is like how many times you can send a message um, to a server or a sentence in our analogies case so Mojang said no and a server has usually a certain amount of time until you can say another three messages I don't know a hundred percent what Mojang's um, server um, time is uh, but you guys can um, obviously google that that's, that's what rate limiting means. And if you are rate limited, you will see a, a red message uh, in, your, uh, in your MC Sniper Pi um, kind of terminal that says four, 
two, nine. Which means you've been rate limited. If you get a 403 error code, which is what they're called, um, that means you sent the request successfully, but you were too slow or too early. So Mojang didn't get the, the message or sentence uh, in time in our case. So let's try this out. Let's close paint and let's uh, close my accounts here and let's actually try and snipe a name. So let's do MC Sniper Pi Snipe and this comes up, right? It'll say MC Sniper Pi created by yada yada, this guy, Kaz001, right? Uh, it's target username. Let's say my target username was, let me see something that's coming up on MMC here. K3S, right? That's coming up. Let's do that. K3S. So time offset. Now this is the thing that tricks people up. So what you actually have to do is you want to go back to your folder. You want to go, type in here, CMD again. You want to press enter, return, and you have to type MC Sniper Pi offset dash test exactly how I'm doing it by the way dash dash double dash aim dash four dot one and press enter now it's going to test um, your offset at first it's going to start with negative 100 in three seconds and it's fired the 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 request or it said something yeah it says we were too early on eight see it says 401 um, sorry, back there in the paint, I meant 401, not 403, but, um, you know. And it says this. Uh, yada yada, bunch of random letters, dot, that. So, it's testing the offset, and it's trying to get uh, your, your offset to be dot 1. Anyway, that's how offset works. So, it's telling me 139 is a good offset. Let's copy that. Let's paste that over here. This is not 100% um, accurate. Anyway, it says error, failed to auth, test2 at gmail.com, test1 at gmail.com, and example at gmail.com. Because that means I've entered my credentials incorrectly. And what that means is that your account uh, has wrong credentials. So. For example, these accounts are all just fake. I made them up on the spot before. So I'm going to go back into my accounts file and I'm going to add an actual account and I'm going to show you what happens when you add uh, a real account to MC Sniper Pi. So I've entered my credentials uh, into the text file. I've saved it. And now when that happens, all you want to do is you want to open up a new CMD. I'm just going to use this one here. Type MC Sniper Pi Snipe, just like that, and it starts it again. So, what was our target username? K3S. Press enter. Now, you want to do the time offset, so I'm going to do what I did before. I'm going to create a new window. I'm going to type MC Sniper Pi dash offset dash test. Actually, I'm going to remove the first dash there because that's not uh, needed. Cool. It'll give us an error if we actually put that in there. And I'm going to do another space. Dash, dash, aim, dash, four, space, dot, one. And this should tell us our offset using the new MC Sniper Pi system. So testing off the offset 162. So that was a bit early, see? It was 09 instead of 1. And it's struggling to find an offset here. It's still getting 0 0.09 instead of 0 0.1 here. There we go, finally got a point 0.1. See, point 0.1. So that's how offset. Right, let's let's type that in. What was it? 145. Press enter. This one account has been loaded for file. And it says authenticated. That's my email. I'm, I'm not going to show that to you, but it says my email. And it should say success authenticated and then your email account. Right? I'm not actually going to snipe this name, but I just wanted to show you how to authenticate that and how to use the MC Sniper Pi Recode. And now when you're actually finished uh, when doing uh, your, your, your sniping, it should give you 
those two error codes that I showed you before in paint. Or it should say success, sniped name on the account, right? And you should go be able to go on MMC and you should be able to see the name that it got uh, that it got sniped on. So that's how you use um, MC Sniper Pi. If that if this tutorial was helpful, uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Okay, I'm gonna